Everybody knows that I'm an Apple fan, okay? Like overall, I prefer Apple products such as iPhone, such as iWatch. I mean, I have my iPad right there and I am a fan of Apple overall. Nevertheless, I have never own a Mac. There's no really a specific reason other than the compatibility with different systems, different softwares, different applications that are available on a PC that are not on a Mac. Nevertheless, there are many, many users right now here in my YouTube channel that own a Mac computer. And even in the last few videos that I posted in regards to, for instance, the BLW app and so on, some people said, hey, you're only targeting people who own Windows, but you don't help people who own a Mac. And that's true. I have a uh, Windows 7, Windows 10 in here, and my computer is also Win 10, but you guys were right. I was not like really focusing or working or trying hard enough to help Mac users. Therefore, I actually went out this afternoon. I decided this actually today and yeah, I'm getting a brand new, uh, what's this MacBook Air? Is it? Yeah. A MacBook Air 2020. And uh, again, there's one simple reason why I'm actually doing this is because I want to help you guys to get as much results as you can. Hi everyone, this is Christian here on YouTube and welcome to this brand new video for the channel. In this specific video, what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be unboxing a brand new MacBook Air and more importantly, uh, we're gonna go through the system and uh, we're gonna see how this computer can be good for Forex traders. Now, I wanna say upfront before jumping into the video that I'm not recommending you to buy a Mac computer if you wanna be a Forex trader, nor am I telling you not to buy a MacBook Pro if you want to be a Forex trader. Whichever computer you use, whether it's a Windows, whether it's a MacBook, even I think Linux is a good computer for Forex traders, it doesn't matter, okay? What I'm trying to do with this is expand to not only people who own the Windows, but also people who own a MacBook. So therefore, from now on, I'm gonna make tutorials also on MacBooks so that you guys understand how to use both systems. So without further ado, if you're new to my channel and uh, you're into binary options, Forex trading, crypto trading, or any type of making money online, this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And if you found value at any point during this video, make sure you hit that like button to support this YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. say up front that this isn't a sponsored video at all all right i don't even have any sponsors for this youtube channel so to me it's just uh, a way to expand you know to my audience just let me go ahead and move all these stuff in here and we're gonna start by opening this computer now there's a lot of people who really think these these uh computers are overpriced honestly i don't think it that way i, I don't think anything in the world is actually overpriced i mean in the end if you actually put a price on a product that you actually build is not because of the product, but because of the time that you put to build into a computer or into a product. And here we have a Dell computer that I actually been using for years. This is extremely heavy because it's a gaming computer. So there's a huge difference. This is an i7, it's a GeForce 1050 Ti. Uh, it's an awesome computer. I'm gonna keep on using it, but um, the Mac computers have a whole different way of raising in their value okay and one of those actual reasons is on their beauty of their product let me just move my camera a little bit there you go probably you're not gonna see my face that much but it's because i want you guys to see this this video is gonna have a few parts because i'm not gonna record everything today because today the markets are not open and i want to show you an mt4 mt5 platform but right now we're doing the unboxing so there we go we have the box right here I love Apple products. That's 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 a reality. I love the beauty of it. I love the style. I love pretty much everything. 
So we're gonna see what's in the box first of all. If by any chance you're actually thinking about buying a computer and you want a, a Mac and someone said, no, don't buy a Mac because otherwise you're not gonna be able to trade, that's not true, all right? So we're gonna actually uncover that here. What is this? I don't even know what this is. I think it's the manuals and stuff. I have the sticker, which I never use, uh, and a small manual. I'm not gonna read this right now. And uh, they do have the charger, which I believe is amazing because it's basically almost the same as the one for my iPad and it's actually cool because if I show you the charger for my Windows PC it's extremely heavy you guys have no idea what it is to go through the Madrid airport like walking around 45 minutes with my backpack with this thing which is like I don't know 20 pounds or something I don't, I'm not even sure I'm, I'm gonna have to google it but it's definitely definitely a huge difference here <laughs> so I'm actually excited about that so but yeah the char the only the charger was extremely heavy there we hope we have the cable which I've heard that is not really long enough I don't know that's it that's everything that goes in the box we're gonna put it back in because I'm actually going to um you know keep this I don't know. Are you guys one of those people who actually save the boxes of the products you guys buy? I'm one of them. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of a freak. Have you guys seen Sheldon Cooper do that? Well, I do it too. So I have a closet all filled with boxes. So here we are. Um, probably on this, uh, the second part of this video is where I'm going to be able to show you my screen recording. But right now, I'm just showing you the PC, the computer itself. I have to stop saying PC. Otherwise, Apple users are going to be offended. So so there you go we have the brand new macbook air right here right out of the box and right now i'm just gonna open it and start using it so let's dive into it all right after having some lunch and you know just resting a little bit i had to give this computer a try i already unboxed it and i already started using it i started you know like trying everything because like i said this is the first mac that i have so in the end i already have the iphone and 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 the ipad and so on so i thought it was going to be easy and in, in fact it is pretty easy so right now what i'm going to do is talk about the most important things one of the most important things with they have the availability for the tools that I need in Forex and therefore right now we're gonna jump into the computer all right here we are in the computer all right and the first thing that I had to check out of course the first issue that I had was actually with OBS cuz um, I don't know for some reason it ended up uh, being the obviously is, is what I use in order to make my video so that's the reason why that was the first thing that I actually looked for and yeah pretty simple right 99% of products now nowadays have their version for a Mac. So I don't think it was such a big deal, but you know, just so you guys know, in case you guys use OBS. Um, then I actually went and check with MetaTrader and try to see, hey, you know what? Is, is it good? Is it available and so on? And I'm actually on IC Markets right now and I go to Apple and it does give me the option for Apple. And in fact, it is right here, the MetaTrader 4. It is available for uh, Mac computers over here on IC Markets. I actually did didn't log in because uh, as you can see uh, uh, over here I have the windows with my charts open because I'm actually activating an auto trader and take a look it says cannot be open because the developer cannot be verified so you know what we're not gonna be able to use mt4 for Mac let me just go ahead and re-download it maybe I don't know maybe I did something wrong right now it's actually re-downloading but I don't think it's going to be available to be honest if it's not available right now then probably there's something wrong with the compatibility but then if we go to MT5 and we go to Mac or Apple Mac, then it's available as well on MT5, which is pretty awesome because my indicators are actually available for you. Now, what is the coolest thing in regards to this is that uh, this account is actually 100% free because you can get a demo account. And we're going to install it right now. But yeah, you can get a free demo account with IC Market and you're going to be able to use their platform, which is the MT5 platform. Many people ask me many times, hey, Chris, how can I install the MT5? on my MacBook because I want to get the indicator but if I can install it then there's not I mean it doesn't make any sense right so uh, 
uh, yeah, you can install it right now. I'm actually installing MT4. Uh, maybe I'm gonna download the MT5 uh, right here. So it's gonna download within the next two minutes. Now, the one that it does not have availability for MacBook is actually C Trader. I was kind of bummed, to be honest with, when I actually saw it, like, cause I like to use C Trader instead of MT4, MT5. So they, do ha they have desktop application, which is a Windows application. Then we have a web trader, mobile web. Then we have for Android and we also have the version for iOS, which is the one that I use on my phone. But I actually found this one, which is C Trader Web, which is decent as well. And if, when I actually jumped into it, as you can see, I have all the options available that I have on my computer on this one right here. So maybe it's not the application itself, but it is available online so that I can use C Trader. So I don't really find that big of a deal, honestly, if uh, we can be honest with each other is the basically the same thing obviously i'm actually used to the actual application of, on windows but i think this is decent okay like bottom line i don't i don't, don't want to like sound like one of those negative people or anything like that no it's it's basically fine now since we are actually looking for options we're looking for options to have availability on your computer so let, you, let me just go ahead and find this ic market thing there you go let's see if it opens up if it doesn't then probably means that it's not compatible with Mac, which will be a bummer because it actually is advertised on their computer. So someone might open an account with IC Markets, deposit, and uh, since, you know, there you go, let me just go ahead and move it to the apps. I'm not really used to use this mouse, mouse pad, you know? Uh, again, it's not available. It, it kind of, like I said, it kind of sucks because in the end, they are misleading people because you're actually looking forward to trade, right? And if you deposit already with uh, IC markets and you're not able to download it on your Mac computer, then it's not going to be cool. But the cool thing is, is that they have a web trader. So you can actually use the web trader. It doesn't mean that you can't use it. Now, the problem though with this specific account is that for instance, you're not going to be able to use auto traders. All right. And if you probably watch a previous video, I found a really cool auto trader called EA, uh, EA Pip Scalper and you're not going to be able to use it here. Now, I've seen some videos in regards to MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 on my computers, but I need to recheck them and see if they actually work. And more importantly, what I need to see is if we have an option. Now, there's a lot of people using this thing Crows Over, I think it's called. I'm not sure. I'm going to uh, find out about that. And uh, it's basically an application that you can use to use for Windows as well. And one of the coolest things as well is that I'm going to install there's one thing called bootcamp in here in the Mac where you can install a Windows. So maybe that's going to work. I don't know. This is the first of many videos with a Mac. So there's still a lot, a lot of things to actually, you know, discover. I don't know if this is going to actually open. It didn't. So again, it's a misleading information from IC markets. Hate me, do whatever you want, but you're misleading people. Okay. Bottom line. So then uh, one thing that I actually tried to do as well was actually to open my broker with uh, Avatrade, but it's still MT4, so it downloaded an MT4 for Windows. It's now good for Mac. Other than that, the tools that I want to use, I I'm going to give you right now my like my final conclusions, right? Here you have the TradingView platform, which is available anywhere because it's a, a website. And right now we're going to talk about, and let me just go ahead and stop the recording right here. Wow, it's pretty loud. I didn't know it was going to be this loud. I'm not complaining that much though. I'm not complaining if if you might think, hey, no, Chris is complaining about Mac. It's not complaining. It's just, I'm actually telling the truth, all right? This is a this is not a computer that Apple sent me to make a review or something like that. No, it's a computer that I just bought and I have the right to say anything I think about it, you know? So we're gonna talk about the four things that I need on a Mac computer in order to make money and their substitutes. And more importantly, see if the, this computer actually has it. Number one is MT4. MT4, well, on IC markets, I was not able to find out. I'm going to find that uh, if uh, the, a way to actually have it, because there is a way, probably I'm just too new in regards to Mac. But if you have a new way, maybe you can put it in the comment section below and help everybody else. Number two platform is MT5, which is similar to MT4, is the same thing. I'm going to find out how to actually get it. Then we have C Trader. C Trader is not available, but with C Trader, we don't need uh, expert advisors. So therefore, 
software. It doesn't matter if we are actually using on a computer, on a web browser. So we're good to go in there. And last but not least is TradingView. Now, one thing I want you guys to know in regards to TradingView is that they do have brokers that you can actually connect to TradingView. I'm not going to do this in this specific video, but I'm actually going to have a list of the brokers that are available for you on uh, TradingView. If you want to see that video, make sure you put it in the comment section and smash the like button. And then I'm going to create a video with all the brokers that are available with TradingView so that you don't actually have to download any, any platform and you can trade anywhere just using your Google Chrome. So, hey, I hope this video really helps you guys out. Honestly, I do believe that the computer is worth it when it comes to work, you know, when it comes to all general activities. But we as day traders, probably the Mac still has a lot of things that uh, they don't offer, such as an easy way to get MT4, an easy way to get MT5. They do have them available over there on their phones. In fact, I do have an app store right here where I can check out just, you know, it's his meta quotes. No, yeah, they don't have an actual meta trader or MT4, MT5. Now they just have some random applications that are supposed to be used for, I have no idea what for, like to see the news and so on, but they don't actually have the MT4, MT5. So in that case, I do believe that uh, you can do better, a lot better with a, a PC, with a Windows computer. But I'm not, like I said, at the beginning of this video, I'm not telling you go out there and buy a Mac or go out there and buy a PC. I'm just making this video for those of you who have both of the options and uh, so that you can say, hey, you know what, Chris, I have a laptop, I have a desktop or, or I have a Mac computer, which one actually can I use? You can use both. I'm just giving you the options that are available. This thing is heavy, by the way. So I'm just giving you the options that are available. Of course, I'm happy with the MacBook because I'm going to use it for different things other than trading. But if trading is the only thing you're going to do, you probably should be looking at a Windows PC. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'm sorry it was that long, but if in case you guys found value on it, make sure you smash the like button. And more importantly, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comment section below. I'll be glad to answer those comments as soon as I can. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button and I'll see you on the next one.